So I saw that. And I was like, how could that even be? How can that even be? So I made this tweet. Seriously, though, no one has a better resume, not even Sarah, who's voting no. Raise your hands and tell me how you could not even begrudgingly admit it. Hey, Rails in the chat. What's up, man? Like, I always talk about it. Skill on what? and hard work. My camp come find and donated $3.33. Legacy of the Void only Cyril is number one who has had the highest peak of any player ever. Rogue is number two. MVP is the Goats of Wings. Innovation is all-time goat. He has won enough and maintained extreme form the longest. If life wasn't banned, he trumps everyone. Those are some reasonable points that the uh, tipper brings up right there. Um, that didn't pop up on my Twitter feed for some reason. It's kind of weird. We talk a lot about skill, honor, and hard work, and it's only a half joke. That's like, that's some handsome StarCraft that Sarah plays. No question. What? 47 Nest cheered. X500 test. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it, 47 Nest. Um, so, yeah, that's... It, it, it's, uh, like, if you look at, like, the virtuous way to play StarCraft, serral has got that in spades, right? He plays a clean macro style. He earns everything. So, yeah, I, I, I understand the sentiment, but it's not an argument against being the GOAT. So when the chat asks, who has the best control of all time? It's Beyond. I actually agree with all this. This conclusion, though, therefore, Serral is the goat until proven otherwise. I don't think you can take these sentences and then get this one, right? I don't, th just because someone's more feared. Now, consistency, there's some argument there. But when you look at what they have actually done, right? Rogue has the deeper resume. He has the deeper resume, right? And the thing is, winning WCS is as big. It's amazing. I am... Here's... here's let me, let me put this out there, right? I'm more impressed with Serral than I am with Rogue. <laughs> All right? I just want to make that clear. But at the same time... All these WCS victories are not the same as what we see from, from Rogue, right? GSL is harder than WCS. There's not really any argument against that. It is much, much... Losing... Okay, so like, for instance, Rogue won Katowice and then got booted out of GSL in the first round. But what did he lose to specifically there? He lost to a Scarlet bringing in insane builds. And she's a champion herself. So it's like... Is that what we're gonna we're gonna say that's round of sixty four when it's actually round of twenty four and it's GSL and it's crazy builds that Norga and Scarlet came up with? Hmm. Don't know about that one. <laughs> You're one hundred percent correct. It he's not e really even head over heels better than his peers, which is something we've seen in StarCraft two. Head over heels better than his peers. Yeah, no, we have seen that in StarCraft 2. You see that earlier on in an RTS game uh, because people are going to understand it at different rates. The, the longer we go in RTS generally, the closer people become because everyone gets really good. The one... This isn't about the most consistent player of all time, right? It's about the greatest player of all time. Who has done the most? Who has done the most? And when you look at the resumes... The most impressive tournament wins, again, no one has Rogue's resume. Two IM World Championships, a regular IM, a Super Tournament, two GSL Code S's, and the World Championship. No one has that at all. Right? Nobody has that. It's like, if you look at people like, okay, look at the very, the things that are considered the very top tier, which would be BlizzCon and IM Katowice. 
Who has both those? SOS and Rogue. SOS has two BlizzCons and a Katowice. Rogue has two Katowices and a BlizzCon. But what does SOS have after that? He has like some smaller tournament wins. He has a super tournament, I believe. He might have an IM, I can't quite remember. But he doesn't have any GSL victories. He has a couple second places. No GSL victories, though. Right? So, you see how that kind of falls down a little bit. So, this isn't about the most consistent player of all time. There are players more consistent. I feel like Rogue's victory made it a lot clearer for me the more I thought about it. That I'm like, oh, it's so hard to keep anyone in this list at this point. Serral has more Premier wins, but on average, Rogues are a lot more prestigious IMO. Uh, they are basically tied, although neither of them is nice and all. But if you haven't won a home story cup, in my opinion, you can't be called the GOAT most important tournaments of the year. All right. <laughs> I can almost get on board with that. Undefeated in best of seven and best of nine. Come on, man. Rogue, as it is, is the best ever. He just doesn't have that aura. So winning a tournament doesn't make you the best? Okay, interesting. Let's read more. The last two to three years, I've never seen Rogue playing incredible as I've seen Cyril or even Raynor, many times. Rogue just wins. But I th really think Serral has reached, for a long time, a so much better shape than him. So having opinions about how much you like their play is not an argument. You can love the way Serral plays the game. It's so clean. I love it, dude. It's how I try to play StarCraft, okay? I try to play StarCraft like this, with honor, and skill, and hard work, and just being like, look at me, I'm just better than you when I win. But that isn't, that isn't part of the measurement of GOAT. It's just not. <laughs> it's, it, this, is, this is the craziest sentence that we've read so far. Having the better results doesn't mean being the best. What? Yes, it does. Literally. That's what it means. The world champion is the world champion. What? <laughs> Maybe the most consistent, but not the most impressive. I don't think he's the most consistent. He has the most titles, if you mean that by consistent. Uh, but not the most impressive. I think, I think we've been, gone over that quite a bit. I thought the most consistent guy is the one who rage quits every match of women are because you're not. Dude, he won so many top end tournaments. You can't, you cannot, that is not how this works. <laughs> you, you cannot just be like, I don't like how he plays. I like how the other guy plays, so he's the GOAT. No, it has to do with who has won the tournaments. Who is the actual champion? It doesn't matter if we like it. It really doesn't. I've never seen Rainer or Serral make finals look as fucking stupid as Rogue does, though. Once he gets up there, he just dominates. Serral and Rainer just mechanics their way through people, but Rogue breaks their spirits by reading and exploiting their souls. So this is an argument, the same argument, but in the other direction, where this guy likes Rogue's play. <laughs> and he doesn't appreciate the mechanics. Same same thing, though. Okay, I feel you. B -b -b okay, we don't need to... We don't need to stay on that thread because that's like people arguing with their emotions about what style they like. Very on and off. Very reliant on stupid builds at times. Top three for sure. Uh, in losses has made many StarCraft 2 fans blindly accepting his GOAT status. Well, the thing is, I am one of those casters. And I think that basically even when he loses, there's so much to praise. It's insane because I think he's skill-wise maybe just the best player, right? <laughs> That doesn't necessarily make him the GOAT, though. Right? Uh, yeah, he hasn't won a bunch of turns. Remore he needs to win. SC2 donated $3. You thermal is way better than Cyril. Did you see his latest YTB video? <laughs> he have... clapped Cyril with a meme build, and he beat Rogan Ty in War Chest League on Nar West TZPZ. I, I haven't seen that yet, but thank you. I love you, Thermal. He's great. 
Protoss sucker. Thanks. 33 cents. Isn't life the goat biologic artosis? He has a gold and silver global finals finish, two GSL wins, one GSL Super Tournament, and a plethora of other tournaments. Keep in mind he did all this in only four years while everyone else has played twice as long. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good point. I mean, I guess I don't put him on the list because I don't think he is the GOAT and he literally can never win anything else because he's banned for life right so absolutely not slowly falling donated three dollars and 33 cents i as a sc2 mod of many channels and mother of six confirm that mark you what thermal schlappy is better than rogue and rainer is the future of sc2 i love it i love it i'm on board with that uh but yeah the money thing i think that you can't you can't do that uh let's not forget that, for instance, these WCS tournaments that Sarah... What? Can you compare? I can't come find and donated $3.33. Also to the people disrespecting MVP because players were quote worse back in the day, don't say such dumb things. Obviously players get better over time, but everyone was playing in the same boat against each other back then, and he just was just better. Yep. Yep, can't disagree with that. It's a different skill set than what you have right now, right? The deeper you get... No, no! Fucking EMP is so slow! That doesn't even make sense. EMP is the slowest fucking stupidest spell in this game. units down is because if i can keep the lurkers right here there's no way he's going to be able to defend here and here but if he let, gets the lurkers out i feel like there is there's much more play for him right if i know exactly where the lurkers are that's one thing if the lurkers are out here with whatever so start keeping track of this if i have three more radiates than what we've seen here he has three less lurkers here <laughs> That's a, that's a huge deal. Look at that. If instead of seven, he has four. Oh my God. And then in 75 seconds, he loses four more plus two more vessels. So that's six more lurkers gone. It's insane how it radiates eventually stack up against Zerg. Okay, so anyways, this is the way you actually want to beat Zerg. I poked here. What you do is you poke one area and then you leave and you poke another area. Too many Terran players, I think, they'll like go and irradiate the so attackable for me. So I, I kind of just didn't think about this at all. I was actually surprised to see it and it was fully mining a little bit later on. Like I, the thing is, realistically, what you should be doing is sending two Marines to each location or three Marines or whatever, right? Uh, not one Marine because one Ling will kill one Marine, but uh, you should send at least two Marines to every base on the map when you're in a situation like this. I have the extra Marines. It's completely doable. It is exactly something that you should always do. Because two Marines, first off, will kill a drone without it getting away every time. They'll kill a Ling that comes in. They'll kill two Lings that come in. Um, yeah. It's one of the hardest things to play against, and you have to change what you're doing. You have to actually take note that, like, oh, they are switching into this. I have to stop this now. And the way to stop this is to get a second factory and go mass siege tanks. Uh, so I do start siege mode as soon as I see the Hydras actually fighting. And I try to start a second fact a few times and eventually right now. TVZ can turn very sloppy. Um, but yeah, I'm like, okay, let's let's kind of get everything together. I have good upgrades, 2-2 right there. I'm taking another base. I have this little group watching for anything coming. I did send two Marines over here. Generate forum that random players go to. Post the replay. It's like, what did I do wrong? I... I made one tech and did the other one after getting random Zerg. What? What'd I do wrong here, guys? Like, oh, too many drones, probably. People. What if he was playing just for fun, Artosis? What if he just, what if he just went random and cheesed nine times in a row for fun because it's fun i'm like well then guy in the chat the situation is even more dire than we originally thought it was okay because 
Now we have a fucking sociopath that he does that for fun. That's what he does for fun. He tries to torture people by cheesing nine times in a row on the fucking ladder. That's what he does for fun. Well, then do you know what? We might need to report this to the authorities that there is a guy on the ladder that for fun is playing like that. Just let them get away with it. They're ahead. And if you try to attack it and you fail, you lose. Like, literally, the game is actually over right there. You can't stay in the game because they can literally do anything that they want. They can counterattack and kill you. They can tech and kill you. They can expand and kill you. Whatever it is, because you have nothing. Uh, he beat you, though! Artos! Uh, he beat you... He got the win on the ladder, Artosis! That means he's good, Artosis!